Hi and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you today by Print Kiosk. We're going to have a look at uh, creating a business card in Photoshop today similar to the one you see on screen now. So we need to get a crack on so let's move straight into it. Let's get that one out the way. Go open up Photoshop, go far and new. Give your document a title and select millimeters from your size. On the width I want you to type in 61, this is going to be a portrait business card and on the height 91. Standard size is 55 by 85 but we've allowed 6 mils, that's 3 mils each edge bleed for the printer. This is very important for printing. So make sure you add another 3 mils to each edge of your document. Ok set the pixels per inch to 300 and again set to CMYK on your colour mode. Click OK. Once that's opened up, come to this left hand ruler, left click with the mouse, hold and drag out a guide. Do the same on each edge, set these to 3mm. Now you've got more time than I am, so you can get these exactly right, whereas I'm just going to drop them in quite close. Ok, that's it, that shows you that everything outside of that box will be lost. That's what the printer will trim away. Everything inside of the box will be kept. Now what some people like to do as well is they take out, they go back to this ruler again, they left click on the mouse and hold down a second line. And bring that one about 3 mils inside of the first one. Now this is your text margin, so you don't want any text going past that margin. Otherwise it's too close to the edge and it looks a little bit strange. Ok right, I need to bring in some images, so I'm going to open up an image I've already got here. I'm going to go direct select up here on the left hand side. Come over to my image, left click with the mouse and hold it, drag it and drop it into that image there. Now it looks a little bit big, I'm just going to shut that one down, bring this one open. Ok, if you go to your keyboard and press Ctrl and T, that will bring you up the three free transfer. If you want to hold the proportions the same, hold down the shift key now and that will bring it down perfectly. If you don't, just let go of the shift key, you could see that it jumped and now you can move it independently. Bring it up to that corner, make sure you go over the bleed marks, that's important. And just set it to what you consider to be about right. Ok, kind of like it there, I think that's ok, going to apply that by ticking on the tick. And now we're going to drop some text in, I've got it set on black down in my colour palette. So I'm going to select the text button, draw out a text box, make sure it's on the right typeface and the right size, and start typing. OK, print. I'm now going to change my type size down to, say, 12 point and my colour as well. Go to the colour library and select the colour I like and then can just continue printing. There you go. Just makes it a little funkier. I'm now going to hit the return key because I want to put a line in under that. You can do these in separate lines if you like. There you go, the online print store. It's a little bit too big, obviously I didn't change text, so I'm just going to left click with the mouse, drag over that text, come up to my text size box and select 9 points, still a little big for what I want, 8 points, still too big, 6 points. There you go, perfect. Direct select there, and there you go, you can see you can change it, move it. What I want to do is something a little snazzy with that, so I'm going to go back to the text tool, click on it again, come over where you've just typed, when you've seen the logo change, there you go, click, that will highlight it again, come to the end, see the double arrow curved, left click with the mouse and hold it. That turns it, you can stop at any angle you like, but I want to get this square, so there we go, I'm going to drop that in there, that looks quite nice. Again, remember this is your text line, and that is your cut line. So I'm going to move it up towards that text line. If you want it a little finer, just use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, perfect. I'm now going to drop in a new layer, just by clicking on this icon. Okay, new layer. And I'm going to come over and select the rectangle tool. I'm now going to come down to the palette colour and choose a colour. Um, Okay, I just want a nice light blue, something that's going to look quite pretty. If you can't see what you want, just cancel that one. Come back, double click it again. And go back into your colour picker. 
there it is, sorry, the picker icon there, and then you can kind of just jump around, find the colour you like. We're going to go with that one. Okay, so rectangle tool, I'm now going to drop that over the bottom of that box. There you go, put a little blue band in at the bottom. Right, let's crack on, we need to get on. So go to my default colours there, click, blacks highlighted, and I'm going to start dropping in text now. So text tool, draw out the first box. Change my font to one that I feel will work best for this. Not all fonts work great for all things, so you need to be a little bit creative. I'm going to go Helvetica, and I'm going to start typing. Now I'd say that's a little bit too big, so just highlight it, come up to the text size, and you want something like a 12 point in there. Uh, that one also, 12 point, and there you go. I'm going to leave that there because that makes that line independent. I'm then going to bring up a new, I'm going to tick that, bring up a new layer again, and start again. Now, obviously just type in your details whatever they may be and I'm going to leave that one there I'm going to click to say yes that's good now I'm going to draw out another text box the reason I'm putting these in independent ones is so that you can move them around at your leisure if you wish so yes that's done thank you now if I want to move just that one I can if I want to come and move this St. Peter's part I just click on the layer and I can now move that one independently so you can get your spacing quite nice Okay, come back, click on my postcode, and again I can move that independently. Right, what I want to do is come back into the St. Peter's Park. You can see the logo, the icon change there. Once it does, change it, drag and drop. I'm going to take that down a little bit, I think it's a little bit too big. And tick that. I'm going to do the same on this. Drag and drop. 10 point. Go to my direct select. That allows you to move that now, that's better. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in my text box and I'm going to put some more text in. Uh, we're going to go with my name now. Whoops. That's a little better. Again, I'm going to bring that up a little bit now. So I'm going to put that one in 12 point. Direct select and move that to this side. And now I'm going to put another text box in. Back on the text store. And I'm going to type in... Again, whatever whatever title you want to give yourself. We can say managing direct director, and I want that to be taken down quite small. So I'm going to go in and say eight point. Okay, direct select, and I move that under there. Okay, excellent. I think that Andy Broderick needs to come down a little bit to fit right. Okay, good. Now the last thing is drop some more text in along the bottom. Again, okay, another text box, come down to here, simply select your size, I think that's going to be too big, so I'm going to go W, full stop, for web, www.printkiosk.co.uk, come down one more, email, it's going to be sales at printkiosk.co.uk, obviously you can spend more time on this, T for telephone 416931. Okay, there you go. I think that's a little big, so I'm just going to highlight all of that again. And it was on 10 point, I'm going to bring it down to 9 point. There we go. So there's pretty much your business card finished. I know it's fairly quick. Um, hopefully, you find it informative. What before you finish, you just go up to file, save as. And make sure this is on Photoshop PDF. If it's not, just click on the drop down box and select it. Click save. And you want this set to press quality and save PDF. That's now ready to go off to the printer. Um, if you do need to get any of these printed, please come to the website. Print Kiosk is a registered printer and we'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at our video and hopefully we'll speak to you shortly. Thank you.